guys what is up today's video is going to be um I already filmed this but I think I was like really concussed at the time and everything so I would like say sentences then not finish them so I'm gonna refilm it today but I'm just gonna do like two story times probably that are just like not really relevant enough to do their own because I can make them pretty short they're gonna be it like unfortunate college story times before I get into it though I do want to say they both happened at like college parties in college obviously people party and they go to parties you don't have to this doesn't mean I was like intoxicated these because both of these instances I wasn't like drunk or anything I don't know I don't want people like coming at me and being like oh my gosh you're underage drinking like stuff like that like obviously people do drink in college but like both of these situations I was going to parties and was not even drinking I guess it also shows that you need to be careful when you're going out in general because like bad things or unfortunate things neither one of these things were like bad one is just a funny story the first one is like that's it's it was like kind of scary for me at the time but it just shows that like you need to be careful I guess and the first story shows you need to be careful about who you're talking to who you're making like connections with so this first story starts off with um me and my friends at my dorm there was a group of probably like eight or so of us um girls and guys and we were gonna go out so we had gone out and the bus at Grand Valley takes you everywhere basically. Wow. At the bus stops, just like a little preface, is that like, I, th I feel like these are like how all bus stops are. I don't know, I don't really take the bus anywhere else besides at Grand Valley. But it's like a little structure and you can like sit inside the structure, you know? So the whole group, it, this was like during winter. Yeah, it was actually snowing that day. So everyone was sitting inside the structure, but I'm a claustrophobic person, so I decide to walk outside the structure. I'm just like standing against it, whatever, waiting for the bus to come take us out to this party. So as I'm waiting out there, these two guys come up to me and start talking to me, which is fine. Um, that's not out of the ordinary or anything for people to talk to you. I'm talking to these guys, the one that like, comes up gives me a hug, and I'm like, Do I know you? Like whatever you're just friendly I guess I don't know you're probably very intoxicated so you're just more friendly I don't know and then the one asked me for my snapchat which isn't a weird thing like I feel like this day and age you just kind of give out your snap to everyone or at least like I know I do whenever I or people are getting my snap I really just usually give them my phone and I'm like hey type it in for yourself whatever so that's what happened and the bus ends up coming you know we had talked whatever bus ends up coming this guy grabbed me and I was like excuse me like my friends are right there I'm getting on the bus with them so we're getting on the bus and also on snapchat this is kind of like a ahead of time story is I did not have my location turned on so that explains some stuff later on in the story is that my snapchat location was off so we go to get on the bus my friends come with me and the buses are always super crowded on like weekend nights and stuff because everyone's just getting on the bus to go to parties so i don't get to like sit with my friends and stuff we're all just kind of scattered around so i found the closest open seat and magically this guy that had grabbed me to get me to come on the bus ends up there was a a seat right next to me and he sits right down in it we're sitting there just talking small talk whatever and he like kept reaching over and like trying to grab my hand and like you know how like couples whatever they th you normally hold hands like this nah this guy I was not about this whole hand holding thing so he literally just kept like caressing my caressing that's you know what? I feel like that's a big word for me but he just kept like trying to grab my hand like this not like this just and my hands just laying there flat I was like I'm not about this. This guy just wouldn't stop trying to get all close and stuff. Like his hands were like on my legs and stuff. Like I don't know, it was just weird. And I was like, uh. That's when I first started getting like the weird vibes from him. But I was like, this guy's just kind of like creepy. But you, you're not gonna do anything on the bus. Like, so I wasn't like worried or anything. My friends are on the bus. It doesn't matter. Anyways, we get to one of the stops and he grabbed me again. He's like, all right, like you're coming with me. And I was like. 
no, I'm not getting off at this stop. Like, I'm getting off at this other stop. And he was like, no, like, you're coming with me. And I was like, mm, but I'm not. Told you already. Like, my friends are here. I'm staying with them. So, and he was like, well, like, my roommate is gone for the weekend. So, you can just come back with me. And I was like, but no. I did not obviously get off the bus with him. But I was like, this guy is creepy. And as he was getting off, he had made a comment like, oh, like, I'll be seeing you later. Hopefully, I'll be seeing you later or something like that. But, like, I didn't think anything of it at the time because I was like, oh, okay, bye. So, fast forward. The night goes on. Don't see him. And we're on the bus. Me and my friends were on the bus on our way back to campus when I got a Snapchat from him, like, multiple snaps from him. And I'm like, what the heck? And so, I opened him up. And uh, the first one was, like, oh like don't you live in oak and i was like well that's weird because earlier when we had been talking um at the bus stop he had you know like you ask each other where oh like where are you from like whatever because that's not weird and i had told him that i lived in oak that stuff happens comes up all the time it's just not something i've ever been worried about so i was like well that's like really weird and he's like oh i see you're on your way back to campus and i'm just like is he on the bus? Like, he knows where I'm at? Like, this is just kind of weird. But still was kind of naive and oblivious to the situation. So we end up getting off the bus, and I told my friends, like, what was going on. I'm like, this guy is just really, be like, creeping me out. Like, how does he know I'm on my way back to campus? So we get off and we're walking. Um, it's only a couple minutes back to the dorm. And then I open, I got another snap from him. I'm like, what the heck? So I opened the Snapchat. Previously when he was texting me, he had been um, snapping me and he was walking on campus. And I was like, why is he on campus? Like he doesn't live on campus. He lives in the apartments, like off campus. Like why is he on campus? So then when we're almost to my dorm, I open his snap and it was a picture of my building. So I was thinking either he's going to someone else's dorm and just happened to pass mine, don't know why or he's actually at my dorm, which then I'm creeped out. So I told everyone in my group what was going on and I was kind of freaking out at this point because I'm like, if this guy is at my dorm, I don't want to see him, like he's creeping me out. So we're walking up to my dorm, nothing had happened yet and I like, hadn't been responding to his snaps and stuff and I knew my location was off so I was like, there's no way. And then we're getting close to my dorm and one of the guys in the group was like, hey Jess, like, there's someone in front of the dorm is that like because you need a swipe card um and a code to get into the building so like if you don't live in the building there's no way you get into the dorm unless someone else lets you in and i look i'm like oh my god like this boy from the bus stop somehow knew it, that i was on my way back to campus and showed up and was like waiting for me at my dorm this guy was like feeling me up on the bus he was like wouldn't stop talking to me wouldn't stop grabbing me and i'm like what is going on here like i'm just so confused we're like walking up i book it to the side door so i don't have to like go to the front door where this guy is waiting and i'm like someone like get rid of him why is he here whatever and they go up to the front of the door and he was they're like oh like hey what's up man like who are you here to, here to see like what are you doing out here like at this hour you know it's probably like 1 2 a.m like what are you doing here and he was like oh i'm here to see jess and they were like well she's not here he goes yeah she is like i know she's here like i can see that she's here and she invited me over and they were like um we don't know where she is and then my sweet mate was there and was like well i'm her roommate and uh we're going to bed so like you need to leave so then they get in the building let me in whatever they're telling me about it so i guess he like left without any problems so he wasn't like creepy to the point of wow like i'm gonna do something really bad like no but I think it's just really creepy that this guy knew where I was at, was very handsy, and like showed up at my dorm building at like 2 a.m. saying that I invited him over, he knew where I was, all this stuff. And I had never met this guy prior to this night, so I was like, what the heck? Well, fast forward to when I'm like trying to figure out how this happened. What ended up happening is when earlier in the night I had given him my phone, he had sent himself my location. So he was following my location like all night. So that's how he knew where I was. So now I am very careful for who I let have my location. On Snapchat, my location is turned off. 
um, and that's just like things that you wouldn't really think about like how am I supposed to think that if I get someone on my phone they're gonna like send themselves my location like you don't just think about that so note to self note to others be careful with that stuff because I didn't think that would happen and like thank god he was just some weird kid because if he had been like some scary dude like if you think about it, like you could really encounter people who you wouldn't know if they're like scary whatever so that was my first one where I was just creeped out and he had been tracking me and stuff and I don't know that was just that and my second story is just kind of funny in my opinion it's funny now during the time I was very heated I'd gone to another party basically this night was just very unfortunate I'll start from the beginning of the night and just sum it up because both these stories are really quick when I condense them which I'm trying to do I had gone out with the same group of friends as this first story was and um, we were planning to meet up with all my roommates were in sororities so we were gonna meet up with one of their friends they met during recruitment so we get off the bus at like the stop that we were gonna go to this party at and this girl has literally a group of like 20 people with her like 15 20 people it was a giant group and we're like sorry but you can't get into a party with that many people like we're not gonna get in if we all show up at the same time like that's not a thing and so some of the guys in the group were like hey like we know this other party how about we split up and we can meet back up later so i was like okay i'm going with the small group so we can get in so it was like me and just like a group of guys whatever uh, and a couple girls in there and we went to a different party get there and we knew about like because it was his friend that was hosting it and so but we didn't know the um like apartment number that it was in so we were walking around this big like complex for probably like a half hour and then it was cold out and i just wasn't about it i was cranky i literally sat down on the curb um and this thing security came up to me they're like are you okay like do you know where you're going i'm like yep i'm fine like whatever and then i got scared security was talking to me and i'm like they probably are gonna like arrest me like yeah anyways fast forward we get to this party whatever and so it was a good party and everyone was just hanging out it was a fun time and they had this pong table and so i wasn't playing or anything but i was watching it so they had this little couch like a little like love seat thing that was literally in the middle like right next to the table and at this point this was like towards the end of the night like it had cleared out a lot and there was this one guy that was at the party who was very like the most intoxicated person there that you could tell he was just past his limits whatever but he was very friendly going up to everyone like becoming bros with everyone and so i see him from across the room and he goes chess and so he starts like running and so i'm like oh my god he's gonna come over and give me a hug or something and there's this thing like i'm pretty sure everyone knows like about breaking the tables like breaking the pong tables whatever you just break tables this guy runs and so i'm here here's the table here's the rest of the room he just run 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 jump splat in the middle of the table it all breaks every single drink that was on that table goes towards the center you think we just go to the center and just stay there and like spill whatever no for some reason they all fell my way the person who was not involved in breaking the table and all the drinks fell right in my happy dandy lap so now i'm soaked i'm sticky i smell like alcohol like I was raking and it just was terrible and so this is when I got up I was like no no I'm not about this I get up I had my he's my ex now but he was my boyfriend at the time I grabbed him and I was like we are going back to campus now like I am not having this and I kind of like blew up and so I walked out of there without telling any of my friends so they didn't know where I went and I hopped on the bus went back to campus and my phone didn't have data at the time so I don't it was like only working like snap was only working when I was had Wi-Fi so I get back to campus I'm like in my dorm changed like about to go to bed and I'm like wow like my snapchat is blown up right now like all these people are like texting me over snap and it was like every person that I was in that group with and they're like Jess like where are you are you okay where did you go we want to leave where are you we're looking all over for you can't find you anywhere like did you leave please respond blah, blah 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 and then I had to respond like oh yeah I left like a half hour ago 45 minutes ago like I'm just happy in bed right now if you're leaving party you should probably tell your friends because they may have at me but I like look back and I'm like wow that's 
I was just having a rough night, like sitting outside in the cold, being cranky, then you just getting everything spilled on me. Like, why was I that one person in the whole party that got completely spilled on? Like, the guy who broke the table barely got anything on him. So, those were two of my unfortunate stories. My more, like, actual story times I'll probably put in more detail. These are just two short little ones that I'm like, wow, that's unfortunate. Like, why does that stuff happen? I have a lot of them because... A lot of stuff has happened like my car got broken into um, I got locked in a bedroom one time and I was literally stuck with a football player um, I don't know thanks for watching please like this video comment below if there's any other videos you want me to make and or anything like any stories you want me to tell and um, subscribe if you aren't already thanks bye